you've been diagnosed with a squamous cell cancer. Now, squamous cell cancers are the second most common type of skin cancer there is. And they are a little bit more dangerous than the basal cell cancers. In other words, they have a slightly higher chance of spreading internally, called metastasizing, and causing big problems. So we really want to pay attention to these squamous cell cancers so that you can get the proper treatment that you need. So why do you get squamous cell cancers? And there's a lot of reasons, but the number one is sun exposure over time mixed with your individual genetics. So the more sun exposure that you get over time, the more damage that accumulates in your DNA. And over years and years and years, that damage then starts to produce premature aging or precancers or cancers. And so there's not really much you can do about going back in time and stopping the sun exposure, but you can certainly limit it now. You can not go out in the midday sun. You can use sunscreens. You can use sun protective clothing. You can do all the things now to not get more accumulated sun damage that's going to cause more cancers later. Now your individual genetics, you can't really change those that much. But it is important to notice that if you burn more easily, you will be at increased risk for everything that happens with prolonged sun exposure, to include cancers. Now if you've had a squamous cell cancer, we have a lot of different treatment modalities for these. And we have videos on all these, so please watch them. How do you treat it? Well, there's a couple of different modalities that we use, and we have videos on all of these. We do something called an ED and C for the very superficial forms of these cancers. We do something called an excision when the cancer starts to have depth, and it's not in an area of high cosmetic importance. We do Mohs micrographic surgery if the cancer is in an area of high cosmetic importance. And we can also do superficial radiation therapy basically anywhere on the body if you do not want to have a surgical procedure performed. Now we have videos on all those different procedures and when it's appropriate and not as appropriate to use that procedure. So please look at those and then ask your local dermatologist any questions that you might have. Now once you've had one skin cancer, you're much more prone to have more. Once you've had one non-melanoma skin cancer, your chances of getting another non-melanoma skin cancer are about 50%. If you've had two or more, then your chances of getting another skin cancer are about 90%. So please, visit your local dermatologist regularly. Please notice anything that's new or changing or growing and come in right away to be seen.